Hi everyone, welcome back to another Placeit tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to give you a full overview of how to use Placeit.net. Beyond showing you what the features are and how to use them, I'm also going to share a few very important things about Placeit that not many people know. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Welcome to this placeit.net tutorial. Before we get into how to use these different features up top and all the capabilities of Placeit, first things first, let's talk about a few important things. Now, when comparing graphic design tools online, the first thing that typically comes to mind is price. So how much does placeit.net cost and are there any coupons? So when you come over to Placeit, if you click on pricing in this top corner, it's going to show you the two options that Placeit offers. One is the monthly for $14.95 a month, and the other is the annual plan, which is $89.69 per year. Now this is a good price for a graphic design tool given the features that Placeit has. However, since I already have an account with Placeit, they gave me a referral link that I can share with you guys that gives you 15% off of either of these plans. So with that said, the link that's in the description below this video will be that 15% off Placeit discount link. There is no code to type in, so simply by clicking that link below, it'll bring you to this page and you'll be able to enroll for $12.70 per month or $76.23 for the whole year. The last thing on pricing is that there is no contract, so you can have this for only one month or you can keep it as long as you want. Also, you get unlimited designs, unlimited videos, and unlimited logos. So that should cover the topic of pricing. If you have any questions about that, let me know. Now let's move on to the next most important part about using a graphic design tool, and that is the rights or the license that comes with the designs that you make. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom of placeit.net, you'll see a little section that says license. Now you can either click this or you can pause the video here to read through these, but essentially from years of experience using graphic design tools, placeit.net makes it extremely easy. They simply give you full rights with all of their designs, their mockups, anything that you create from their site. You can customize all of their templates, you can download them, you can sell those designs directly, for example, if you're creating a logo for a client. You can also sell those designs indirectly. So if you're putting it on a t-shirt and selling that t-shirt, or if you're using the print on demand business model, that is fully okay with placeit.net. And then they even give you rights to trademark that design. So if you customize the template, downloaded it from Placeit, you can register a formal trademark on that design so that you personally own the rights to that exact design. Now there's only a few things that you cannot do on Placeit, and essentially what those are is you cannot use Placeit's designs or templates to recreate a website like Placeit, and you cannot infringe on copyrights of other brands or other things that may be trademarked or copyrighted. Very simply put, Placeit.net makes it extremely easy for us and gives us full commercial usage rights of anything that we create and download from their site. And the last huge benefit to using Placeit.net is one, they have the most templates of any other graphic design tool. Currently, they have about 70,000 different templates to choose from, and they add about 600 new templates per week. So you will always have a ton to choose from. And then on top of having all of those templates, they're one of the only graphic design tools online that allows you to create designs and also create mockups on the same site within the same subscription. A lot of the other graphic design tools out there are either only going to be designing or only going to be mockups. On Placeit, you get to do both. So now with all of that out of the way, hopefully we're all on the same page of what place it is, how much it costs, and what they really offer. Now let's get into the fun part and start talking about the different features, options, and how to customize these things here on Placeit. So I've been using Placeit for a long time, so throughout this tutorial, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks, ways to be a little bit more efficient, and some shortcuts that you can use when making your designs. But first things first, let's talk about what they offer on their site. So Placeit has four main categories. You can create mockups, you can create designs, you can create logos and videos. This last dropdown that you see up top called gaming is just going to be specifically about the gaming category, but within it is going to be mockups, designs, logos, and videos. I'm assuming that they added this gaming dropdown up top because gaming in itself is becoming more and more popular, so they wanted to make this whole category easy to find. So starting with mockups, if you're not familiar with what mockups are, it's essentially you can create a design and it's almost as simple as dragging and dropping it onto another photo, and it basically mocks up what that would look like on that product, so you don't have to physically print it on that product and take the photo yourself. Now, this was the original feature of Placeit. Not many people know that this is where Placeit gained its popularity. 
In the company's very early days, they were able to develop this technology that made it extremely easy and made these mockups look real. In the past, you had to either manually do this on Photoshop or you could use software, but it didn't format properly. As you can see, this follows the creases and the different folds in the shirt to make it look like a real photo. Now, the most popular mockups that you're going to find through all of these categories on the left side are t-shirt mockups. Single-handedly in t-shirts, they have over 10,000 different mockups to choose from. So if you are in the t-shirt business or print on demand business, this will give you a huge advantage when creating content for social media. So a couple tips to pass on to you here is you can come over to the left side and you can scroll through here and pick a different category to find something that you're specifically looking for. Or you can come up to the top here, you can hit this drop down, you can switch it to any of these four. I recommend going to best selling because what this is going to do is show you all of the ones that are downloaded the most frequently. Typically across the board, no matter what category or section you are in place it, this is going to show you the best templates that they have in that category. But with that said, don't be afraid to come all the way down to the bottom and keep going to the next page because as you can see, just in mockups alone, there's over 600 pages to choose from. So when it comes to actually customizing a mockup, I'll show you how to do that here. For example, let's just go with this first mockup right here. All you have to do is click on it and this will bring you right into the editor. Now, when you're in the editor on Placeit, no matter which section you're in, you're going to have customization options down the left side and on the right side. Now, when you're customizing mockups, it's pretty straightforward. We only have a few options to choose from. The first option in the top left is to add text. So if you click that, it'll bring text into your mockup. You can make this bigger or smaller by dragging it. You can change the font type by clicking this dropdown. The font color is just over here to the right. And then that black text background, you can change to transparent by clicking the checkerboard in text background. Now to customize that text, just edit what's written in here. And then if you decide that you don't want this text on here anymore, you can either drag it off to the side or you can hit the little eye icon that will turn it off. Now the only two other options that we have here are insert image. So if we click this, we're given two options, either upload a design file from your computer or upload a design file from your previous downloads or other designs that you created on Placeit in the past. This second option here is pretty helpful if you wanna use a t-shirt design that you created a long time ago on Placeit and you don't exactly know where it is on your computer. But for the majority of the time, I find myself just using upload from your device and just selecting a file from my computer. All right, so once you've selected that file and you've uploaded it here, it brings you into the cropping section. Now, since this is a t-shirt, we don't want this design to be in the stomach area of the shirt. We want it to be up in the chest area. And then I'm even going to zoom it in a little bit to fill up more of the shirt. Now this looks good. Make sure none of your text is outside of this highlighted area and then just hit crop. So as you can see, place it does all of the heavy lifting. This looks ready to go. Now, if you found out that it wasn't in the right area, all you have to do is go back to resize and you can re-edit this. You can move it to the side, bigger, smaller, anything you need to do. Now, when we come over to the right side, we can change the shirt color with this dropdown. So if we wanna change that shirt to any other color, we can choose those selections here. And then something good to know is if we wanted to go back to that white color, we can either select it here or we can click off and we can hit the back button on our internet browser. Again, this is something that comes from experience. Not many people know that you can use that back button as an undo button. Now there's one more option that we have when creating these mockups and that is either add graphic or upload logo. They're both going to be very similar. When we hit that add graphic button, it's going to bring in a graphic from their library. We can search and we can choose anything we want in here, or we can upload our own image if we have a logo of our own that we wanna upload onto this mockup. Now, if we don't want this image on here anymore, we can pull it off to the side or hit no image. And then the other variation of this button is upload logo. That's just going to allow us to upload directly from our computer and not bring in this library here. So just like that, we have created and customized our mockup. All that's left to do is click this download button up top. Now with everything across the board on Placeit, you're going to have this pop-up after you click download. It'll say processing your design, processing your mockup. And after a few seconds, it'll change to click here to download. Just click this button here and it'll download that mockup or that design you just created directly to your computer. So just like that, in a matter of minutes, we've created a mockup on Placeit.net. As you can see when you zoom in, the quality of these mockups are pretty awesome. This is for everything you create on Placeit. Everything is downloaded in high quality. So that is the first section here. That is mockups. Let's go back over to Placeit. Now let's come over to designs and see how they differ from mockups. So if we hover over designs and go to online design maker, this will bring you into the designing section of Placeit. Now the main things you're going to find here are t-shirt designs and social media post templates. So with that being said, the way that this works is basically the same as mockups. You can choose what you're looking for over here. 
You can even use this search bar up top, choose which category you're looking in, whether that's mockups, designs, whatever that is, and you can search for it here. For example, if you're looking for a t-shirt design, you could type in t-shirt. If you're looking for a Facebook post, you can type in Facebook post, or you can find that over on the side here. Now, Placeit has a ton of different templates to choose from. That's one of the big benefits of using them as your graphic design tool. So don't be afraid to type in something that you're looking for. You might be surprised how many different templates for something specific that they really have. So I'm just going to scroll down here and show you how to use this to create a t-shirt design. As you can see, they have over 7,000 different t-shirt designs to choose from. They always have a ton of templates no matter what you're looking for. So I'm just going to choose this first one up top here and I'll show you how to customize it. So just like mockups, you have your text over here and you have your graphics and colors on this right side over here. Now, since this is a pre-made design, you will have text boxes already made and put in place for you. You can still move these around. You can make them bigger or smaller. You can customize what they look like. If you want to go back to how this template started, just go ahead and click reset layout. And then if you want to change what it says, just find the corresponding text box to what you want to change. You can change what it says. You can change the font. You can change the font color, all the same options we had before. Now from experience, something that will come more into play for designs rather than mockups is the ability to customize your fonts and font colors. So although you have all of these fonts to choose from, you can also click more fonts and you can find something specific. So if you have a specific font for your brand or something you're aiming for, you can type it in up here or you can scroll through a ton of different fonts to choose from by clicking this expanded library. Now beyond that, you can customize the color as well. So these are just the default colors for your text. You can also click more. You can use the sliders or you can enter in a specific hex code if there's a very specific color you're looking for. We have the same option to upload a logo if you wanna upload an image from your computer. The same option over here to upload a graphic if you wanna do that. And then in this template, it comes with a pre-built in graphic, which are these runners over here. Again, make them bigger, smaller, move them around, reset the layout and you can even choose and customize what they are. So if there's something different you're looking for, feel free to click around. It'll continue to work these into your design. Or if you're specifically looking for running, you can type in running up top and it'll show you all of their commercially usable graphics that are specifically for running. This is one of the nicest features to place it because all of these graphics are commercially usable. You don't have to go find them and buy the rights to use them in your design. Now, if you wanna change the color of this graphic, you can use the main graphic color dropdown you can change that to anything you'd like. And again, if you wanna go back at any point, just hit the back button on your browser and you can undo changes. Now, a lot of the times with these designs, they'll give you the option either pre-built in or like this where it's not put in already, but you can choose to use it, of having a pattern or some type of frame or background to this graphic. So feel free to click around on these. You might find something that you really like here as well. Remember, if you don't wanna use one of these, just hit no image. And then another really important tip I can pass on to you is if you do plan to put this on a t-shirt, there's a very important step that you need to do. If we were to download this right now and try to put it on a t-shirt, it would print it with this blue square in the background on the shirt. Even if this was printed on a blue shirt, it would be using ink to print all of this and we really only need this design that's in the middle. So if you find the dropdown called background, hit the dropdown and go to the checkerboard. This will turn it into a transparent background. So when you print this on a shirt, a coffee mug, on anything, it will only print the design and it will not print that colored background. So this looks good to go. Let's go ahead and click download. You'll get this pop-up that says processing your design and then click here to download. And just like that, we've created a t-shirt design with a transparent background. And when you zoom in on here, the quality is high quality again. So that should cover mockups and designs. Now let's move on to logos. This is one of the newest and really most impressive features of Placeit. So hover over logos, go to logo maker, and it's going to offer you to put in your company's name or whatever you want in this logo. However, from experience, if you do do this and click next, it's going to take a really long time to load all the different templates pre-customized with your information in it. So rather, I recommend clicking this little button called see all our templates down here. This will load these thousands of different logo templates just with default text in them and it makes them load a lot faster. So just like that, you have a ton of logo templates to choose from, over 200 pages right now. Remember, they're adding new templates almost daily. But if you come back up to the top, you can choose which industry you're looking for and it'll kind of refine it down to logos that they think fit best in that industry. Now, in my opinion, I recommend either just scrolling through these and looking at the different logos. You may be surprised what you find just by going page to page or typing in a broad keyword up top, something like house if you're looking for a real estate logo, rather than typing in real estate. 
But with that said, these logos are really impressive. I'll show you what I mean by clicking and customizing this first one here. So as you can see, once you come into the editor, the options are basically the same for mockups, designs, logos, but the graphics that you find on the right side when you're within these logos are what makes it really impressive. A lot of these graphics over here are super detailed and they're not just simply icons. So feel free to customize the text, customize the font as we talked about before, change up the colors, search for up top and scroll through to find whichever graphic fits your needs best, and then simply just click on it to work it into your logo. And then once you're happy with it, you can download it with a colored background depending on what your needs are. Or again, you can click background, you can switch it to the checkerboard and create yourself a logo with a transparent background. Now for most cases, when you're creating a logo for your business, you're going to wanna to have two versions. One will be the transparent background, so we'll click download on that one. And then we'll come back, we'll switch it to a white background. This will be more so for profile photos and we'll click download on this one as well. Now, as you can see, our transparent one is ready. We can click that to download to our computer. And then our white background one is ready as well. Now, this is a new feature that Placeit has been doing. I don't know how long it's going to stick around or it'll still be there when you are doing this yourself. But if you download it with a colored background, it downloads a second version with that transparent background by default. So just be sure when you click to download that you're looking at this little graphic in here to see if it has a transparent background or a colored background. And just like that, we've got both of our logos here. This one has the white background, as you can see in the square. This one has the transparent background. You can use that anywhere that you don't want a colored background printed. All right, so as you can see, creating mockups, designs, and logos are all pretty similar in how you go through the process. Now let's get into a feature on Placeit that is not as similar as these ones. This is the videos feature on Placeit. So I'm going to click and come back over to Placeit, hover over videos, and go to Video Maker. So this is a pretty awesome feature of Placeit. You can create slideshow videos, you can create Instagram stories, intro templates if you need something for a YouTube intro, product demos, and even Instagram videos. So this will depend on what you are looking for in a video, but one of my favorite features here is the intro templates. I use this for the YouTube intro that you saw in this video. I'll show you how to create something like this. So once you come in here, you've got all of the intro templates in one place. There's over 20 pages so far. Not as many as the designs and mockups, but that's still over 600 different templates to choose from. So I recommend using the search bar up top here to type in a keyword of what you're looking for or come through the categories on the left side. Or alternatively, you can just scroll through these different options. If you hover over one, it'll show you a preview of what that template will look like and what areas you can customize. But once you find one you like, just click on it and we can start to edit it. So this is where the editor starts to look a little bit different from your mockups, designs, and logos. We have a lot of the same options over on the left and the right side, but we also have some new ones. Some of the new ones are the playback speed of this intro. We have the slides bar at the bottom. We have an audio track on the top right and then different effects for the video. Now this area in the center is going to be your preview. So you can always click to play it and it'll show you what that template looks like so far with the changes that you've made. But you'll notice every time that you do make a change, you have to click to have it process this preview and show you it with those changes put in. So to show you what I mean, first things first, let's upload an image. This is going to be your company logo. Now I'm just going to use the logo that we just created previously, but we're going to do the same thing where we wanna fill the space here without going over the highlighted area. And then once that looks good, we just go ahead and click crop. And then this will load for a second here and show us a preview of that change. You can just click X. And this is where you wanna click update slide. So as you can see, if we play it back right now, it's not going to have that change put in, but if we click update slide, Give this a minute to load here. And then once it's updated, it'll show you what that looks like with the graphic that you just put in here. Now, every time you make a change to this template, it'll give you that option to update the slide again. You'll just have to wait another minute and then you'll be able to preview it with those changes put into place. So moving on, the next option down here is the playback speed. This is going to be how fast that video is going to play back. When we have it on the one option, it's a 10 second video. If we put it on 0.5, it's going to change it to a 20 second video and vice versa. If we chose 1.5, it would speed up the video and make it about seven seconds. Again, with any of those changes, make sure that if you wanna use one of those options, click update slide and you'll be able to preview those changes. Now coming over to the right side here, you have your audio track. So if you click the little edit icon, it'll bring you into their full library of commercially usable audio tracks. This is another great feature of Placeit. Not only do they give you commercially usable graphics to use, but they give you commercially usable audio. Typically on other graphic design tools, you don't have this option. So you have to go to another website and subscribe to get access to commercially usable audio. 
But for this intro, you can preview the songs by clicking the play button. You can star them and put them into your saved tracks if you like it and you want to be able to find that quickly in the future for other projects. You can use the search bar to search for something or the category dropdowns. And then once you find one that you like, all you have to do is click select and it'll add it right into your intro. Now only a couple more things here for videos. You have the color of the effect on your video. This is the color of that background action that's going on. As you can see, it's gray right now, but you can change that to any color you want. And you can even change what that effect is. So this will give you a preview. If you wanna see what it really looks like on your intro, you can click it. It's going to load you a quick preview. Just click X out of here and then click update slide. All right, once that completes, then you can see what that looks like with your new changes put into this template. Now, just a quick tip, every time that you click update slide, it does take a few seconds, almost a minute for it to make all of those changes updated into the video. So from experience, my recommendation to make this as efficient and quick as possible is to change as many of these options as you can before clicking update slide. So that effect was pretty cool. And remember, if you wanna change it off of the grayscale to something different, just change the effect color up top here. And then the last option is the background image. So feel free to search through here if you do wanna use one of those, but these are all commercially usable as well. So once you've gone through all of these options and you're happy with your intro and you're ready to go, you'll see that the download button is grayed out. What Placeit wants you to do is click the play all button, which is going to process all of your changes one final time and you see the finished product before you download it. Now, just a quick note, you can add a second slide by clicking this. You could add in another intro behind it. So you would have 10 seconds of the first one, 10 seconds of the second one. This isn't something that I typically do, but just know that this option is here as well. So once you're good to go, just click play all down here. This will process your video that one final time, giving you the preview of how it looks like as the finished product. If you see anything that you need to change, you can just click the X up in the corner, go back and make those changes and click play all again. Now, since this looks good, I'm just going to click download. You'll see that we get the same drop down here saying that it's processing our video. And once it's ready, we'll get the download button. And that is ready to download to our computer. All right, this is now downloaded to our computer. This video, although I have it small right now, is in full HD, so you can put this in YouTube videos. You can use this commercially and it looks professional. It won't be blurry at all. So that is the fourth main section here on Placeit. That was how to create videos. Now let's go back and talk about a few small things that not many people know about Placeit. So first things first, gaming is becoming really big. So if you go into the gaming section, you're going to have mockups, designs, logos, videos, all in one place, but they're all going to be specific to gaming. Now, my favorite section on here is for Twitch templates. So if you hit the drop down, go to Twitch templates. These are going to be all the different graphic assets that you need for your Twitch channel. Now, the same applies for a YouTube channel. I use a lot of these templates myself for the channel you're watching this on. So just be aware of all these different templates that are in here within gaming. Now, something else, if we come back here and scroll all the way to the bottom, is they have a few features that not many people know about. You can use their free image cropper and free video to GIF converter. Now we'll start with the video to GIF converter. Now, if you are familiar with what a GIF is, it's basically a version of an image file that plays like a slideshow so it looks like a video. In places on the internet where you're only allowed to upload an image and not a video, you'll want to take your video file, which is MP4 or MOV, just like the intro that we just created. You can upload your video here by clicking this button. For example, I'm uploading that intro that we just created. And you have presets from this dropdown, but those are very limited. So what I recommend is typing in your width and height here. Now, since this intro was made in 16 by nine format, what that equates to in pixels is 800 by 450. And then once it looks like it fits this cropping area perfectly, you just go ahead and click download. As you probably know by now, you're going to get this processing area. And then once it's ready, you can click to download to your computer. All right, that's now ready to go. And now just like that, we have all of the frames for this video. If you're not familiar with GIFs, then this might look a little bit confusing, but now you have a GIF file for the intro that we just created. Now coming back to place it again, scrolling all the way to the bottom, we have the free image cropper as well. Now this is actually going to be really useful if you're using place it to create t-shirt designs to sell for print on demand. Now it's not common, but for some print on demand websites like Merch by Amazon, they require that your t-shirt designs be in a specific size format. What this is is 4,500 pixels by 5,400 pixels. Now by default, when you create t-shirt designs, they're not going to save at that specific size. So what you can do is come to this page, click upload your image and upload the t-shirt design that you created. 
And then as you can see, this is 4,000 pixels by 4,000 pixels. We want this to be 4,500 by 5,400. Again, don't forget to drag this up into the chest area of the shirt, and you can even zoom it in to make it fit that area a little bit better. Now, when you click download, this will download the design pre-formatted for Merch by Amazon or any other print-on-demand company that requires a specific size. Now, as you can see, when you look at this, you can't really tell that it is pre-sized for that because it has a transparent background, but you can generally tell that this is not a square template, more of a rectangle with our design up in the chest. Now, there is one other way to do this, and that is the last thing I want to show you in this tutorial. Now, if you come back to place it and you click on my downloads up top and you go to view all, this is going to show you all of the previous downloads that you've made on Placeit. This goes since your account was open, so you can go pages and pages back. But what I wanted to show you in here is how to resize that t-shirt design without going to that page and uploading it from your computer. You can simply, after you've downloaded it, it'll be shown up in here. This was the original t-shirt design that we created in the square format. You can hit the little drop down, you go to crop and resize, and it'll bring you right back to this page, except it's already uploaded your design for you. So then you just have to change this to the 4,500 by 5,400, bring it up to the top, make it a little bit bigger, and now you can download it sized for Merch by Amazon. There's a few other things to know in here. Instead of just using that drop down for the crop and resize, you can also just click this big blue download button to re-download that design, or you can click the white button below it to make more of them. This will bring you right back into the editor and it will pick up right where you left off on this design. So anytime in the past that you have created a design, no matter if that's a mock-up, a design, a logo, video, if you click download, it will be saved in my downloads and you can pick up where you left off at any point. Now, if you don't finish a design and you haven't clicked download on it, you can simply just click save draft. And then if you hover over your username in the top right corner and click on my drafts, it'll bring you into all of those drafts rather than all of your downloads. So guys, that has been a full Placeit tutorial. Hopefully that has been helpful. Remember the 15% off discount code is down in the description. So if this tutorial has helped you and you plan on signing up now, saving the couple extra dollars per month is always a good thing. All right, guys, that's all for today. If you have any questions about Placeit, I'd be happy to help you out. Otherwise, I'll see you all in the next Placeit tutorial.